Where could the St. Lucia National, who tested positive for COVID-19 in St. Vincent, contracted the virus? That's the burning question on everyone's mind after the news broke on Thursday that the individual had contact with a number of people before she departed St. Lucia for St. Vincent last Sunday. Hundreds of the young woman's colleagues at a call centre at the Johnson Centre have been tested and placed in quarantine. Now health officials continue to retrace the steps of the individual to determine the source of the infection. The Ministry of Health and Wellness was also informed by the St. Vincent Health Ministry of a St. Lucia National who travelled to St. Vincent and the Grenadines on Sunday, July 19, 2020 and after screening was tested positive for COVID-19. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has implemented a number of interventions to manage the situation. Results of contact tracing tests are expected between Friday, July 24th and Saturday, July 25th. The family and close friends of the individual have been tested and placed in government quarantine. The health team has visited the workplace of the individual. All of the employees were screened and a total of 154 employees have been tested and placed into quarantine. None of the contacts of the individual, including the family, friends and employees, are symptomatic. The results are expected to be available by this evening or tomorrow. The Ministry of Health will await reports on the occupational health and safety measures at the workplace from the Environmental Health Department to guide on the way forward. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belma george underscores the importance of health and safety guidelines to minimize in-country spread of COVID-19. As we continue with the phased reopening of the country, the risk for introduction of COVID-19 has increased. The public is once again advised on the adherence of the public health measures that have been recommended. These include the use of face masks in public and maintaining safe physical distance from others. We continue to advise on the importance of maintaining the standard recommendations for infection prevention and control, which include regular hand washing of soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer where soap and water is not available, Cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues when coughing and sneezing. The island registered its 24th COVID-19 case on July 22nd. Out of the 24 cases, only two are in respiratory care and remain in stable condition. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.